Ahoy music lovers, vinyl enthusiasts, and everyone in between. My name is Isaac, this is The Blind Island, and welcome to the channel. Today I am going to go over the final portion of March's Vinyl Finds. So March has been a very good a month for us and our collection. And I wanted to ask you, I know that I split up the March Finds into quite a few videos this month. Would you prefer that I just save it for one big giant video at the end of the month? Or do you prefer these smaller, more digestible videos? Please let me know in the comments below. And we're gonna get started showing the finds. We're going to start off with the used vinyl, then we're going to go to contemporary. So first off, I found a nice replacement copy for my Leonard Cohen Songs from a Room. And the sleeve does have some writing on the front, but it is a, an original 2i copy. And this was only a dollar. And I had a 70s reissue of this. I love Leonard Cohen, so I'm really happy to have an original copy for only a dollar. Next is another uh, copy that is replacing an older one. And this is the Beach Boys all summer long. This one was 50 cents, and this one was primarily bought for the cover. It was uh, in really nice shape, not torn up at all like my previous cover was, and just happy to be able to kind of Frankenstein these two together because this is a really great early Beach Boys record. Next, in the vein of replacement copies, I received a copy of John Lee Hooker's Endless Boogie. Love this long, jammy, blues rock album by the veritable legend John Lee himself. This came at a time when John Lee's commercial appeal was at an all-time high. Just came out with the big uh, collaborative effort of Canned Heat and Hooker, or, and it's really, really nice. I love this kind of jammy blues. It's not for everybody, but for me, I can't get enough of it. So happy to have a better copy of this in the collection. And then next I'm going to show quickly the VCLT that I received. If you didn't see that video, you can uh, check it out on the channel. It was the one that was just previous to this. And I got these from Logan over at Swellheads Network. And this is Pereggio in the Valley of Temples. This is a great fusion album in the vein of Return to Forever and Soft Machine. So really, really cool record. And then this is Fireball, Blessed Be. A real shame that this band never really took off. I think that they have a really deep, guttural, garage, psychedelic sound. Thoroughly enjoyed it. A really nice EP. You can go and pick these up for like two bucks on Discogs. I would highly recommend that you do so. And then next, this was a gift from one of my friends. And a really cool gift at that. This is an original a copy of Balaclava by Pearls Before Swine on the ESP label. And I just love that cover artwork. This is a really great pastoral psychedelic folk album from, I want to say it was made in 1966, but don't quote me on that. It's 68 actually, forgive me. So really cool pastoral folk, it very much set the trend for the way that it would be headed in the future. So, really cool record. Thank you so much uh, for giving me that. And then I found a really cool record at an antique mall. This is Art Pepper's Winter Moon. Uh, from This is an album from Art Pepper in his later period. And I think that his stuff for the Galaxy label is just as good as anything he came out with when he was a young man. Um, he was having a bit of a creative and career renaissance in his late period. I believe this was one of the last records he ever came out with before his uh, death in 1983. And this 
pairs art with a string section and it really captures some of that beauty from albums like Stan Getz's uh, Focus and Charlie Parker with strings, Chet Baker with strings, but I would even dare say that it rivals the beauty of an album like Focus. This does not sound dated at all by today's standards, it just sounds beautiful. Art Pepper was one of the greatest alto saxophonists of all time, and I'm very happy to have this one in the collection. Now to get into the contemporary stuff. We're gonna get started off with another addition to the Surf Rock collection. And this is uh, Lee Hazelwood's Woodchucks, uh, Cruising for Surf Bunnies. This was found apparently in Lee Hazelwood's archives, a tape that was just labeled Woodchucks. And 12 tracks were on it and sounded completely finished like it was meant for a different group or a band or you had an idea for an album and it just got scrapped because it was cut around 1964, 65 and Lee just started to take off a lot from there and he had so many irons in the uh, fire that some projects just fell to the wayside and this was one of them. This wasn't released until 2018 and this is an amazing surf rock album. I love this. And if you're a fan of surf rock, this is an essential grab. Then next, uh, LCD Sound System has been coming out with a series of reissues and I grabbed a couple of those. I have their de uh, debut album. And this one is just really bringing me back to high school. I love, you know, Daft Punk is playing at my house, great party song. And that's what this record sounds like, a party. And I am really happy to be able to snag this one. But the one that I really love is LCD Sound Systems, This Is Happening. And this record to me is art pop at its finest. My wife introduced me to this record and the song I Can Change is one of my favorite songs of all time. I can dance to that. It sounds like a marriage of David Bowie, Brian Eno, and Kraftwerk. It is wonderful. It is a uh, playing to the past without becoming pastiche. And this is one of my favorite art pop records of all time. So really happy to have this one in the collection. Then next, uh, Brian over at Shamrock and Records recognized this was playing in the last video, and I found an original copy of the Dirt Bombs, uh, <clears throat> Ultra Glide in Black, and this is just a phenomenal garage soul record. And I say garage because it has almost a punky garage feeling to it with the soul music. There's a lot of covers on here, I think that one of my favorite songs is uh, Ode to a Black Man, and just, it, it's ripping so hard. Uh, Chains of Love is great. Uh, their version of Living for the City is fantastic. Uh, there are so many great tunes on here, and I'm going to include a little snippet of it so that you can get a taste of what it sounds like. Next was another gift from a friend of mine, and this is uh, Psychedelic Porn Crumpets, Shiga, The Sunlight Mound, and this is their latest album, uh, came out just a few weeks ago, and I thoroughly enjoy this. It's a lot more on the heavy side, but the songs are incredibly hooky. They get caught in your head, you can't stop singing them. Tally Ho is one of my favorites of the year, and I really enjoy the psychedelic porn crumpets. If you're really into the whole sunshine, neo-psychedelia, you're going to find a lot to love on this album. So really cool to have this in the collection. Next is the latest album from the grindcore group Genghis Tron, Dream Weapon. <clears throat> 
I heard this while being in the record store uh, a few days ago. They were playing a promotional copy of this and I love it. It's dreamy, ethereal, progressive, and nothing at all like I thought it, they would sound like. I went, when I asked what group was playing, I went home and looked them up. And their previous material is a lot more uh, Nintendo core, lots of screaming and very intense, not really my style. This is completely different, a completely different beast. And I love the icy, dreamy uh, soundscape that they produce on this record. Uh, this is uh, the limited edition Cyan Blue. It's playing right now, if you're wondering what's been playing in the background. And this might be uh, going up on my top uh, albums of 2021. Can't wait to uh, get to that list, but this is a great record and one that I'm really happy to have in the collection. And then finally, another top find of 2021 and another top record of 2021. This is Witch Egg. This is a project, a collaborative project from members of the OCs and other musicians. And this is just whacked out, wigged out, psychedelic jazz fusion. This is very much in a spiritual vein of Miles Davis's Bitches Brew and just those strange mercurial rhythms and pulsating uh, electric guitars. I love this record. This is uh, one of those things, again, where they take elements of their inspiration without sounding as though they are trying to be their inspiration. This is an amazing album. I was introduced to this one by Ian at the Exclusive Company. And these uh, copies are only coming out of Austria right now. And I would highly recommend you pick up a copy while you can because they are very limited. This is on a translucent, milky, clear vinyl. And I love it. This is an amazing record. I'll probably do a full vinyl review of it. And I'm going to include a little snippet of what this sounds like so you can get a taste of Witch Egg. those were the vinyl finds for this month tell me what you think in the comments and saying goodbye to march 2021 been a really great month for vinyl collecting and i just want to say thank you so much guys for watching and as always i hope that you have a great day on your own personal oasis cheers <laughs>